Okay, back again. I'm going to attempt to make a couple turning projects today, and it's going to be a letter opener and a ballpoint pen. These are going to be the Wall Street 2 variety. They got these little packs here that come with your tubes and all of that cool stuff. One letter opener. Haven't done this before, but I've done a couple pens, and since these are going to some very dear friends of mine in Michigan, uh, I got some cherry that's pretty good. I gotta make my own blanks out of the cherry and I'm gonna send it up to cherry country. So hopefully this goes pretty well. River 2764 pen makers drill bit so I'm hoping this is the nice size to just slide the tubing right in but we're gonna give new drill bit a shot Okay, I've got two Wall Street 2 blanks done, one for the letter opener, one for the pen. I tried the reamer, and I think it's good because you can see the shininess of the insert in there, the tube, right at the wood. So I tried to carefully ream both sides. I might have touched a little bit on the brass here, but the pen blank also ready to go. So next up, moving over here to the lathe, and we're going to get this going. I've got a set up all the pieces with the mandrel and all of that. So we're going to go through that first and then we'll be ready to turn. This time, we're going with some extra protection. So, if I can tighten that up. Oh yeah, now we're ready.
240 and 320. Moving up to the 600. Okay, so I just hit it with a little mineral spirits on uh, a little shop towel and uh, just rub that around and just love the color there. And it's got the five indents and that's uh, a family thing for me. This is going to a house up in northern Michigan. I am using cherry and you saw me cut the blanks and drill the blanks and now I'm turning the blanks. But the cherry is going to stay just as is raw. I don't use a lot of stains to color wood unless there's a particular reason to do that. But I'm gonna leave this one natural so the cherry really comes through. I got some nice grain in there. We're gonna finish it just with straight up CA glue. I'm gonna use a trick I learned from my friend John where you take a shop towel like this and you tear it into 10 little sections. You put a couple drops of the glue on each section, uh, rub it in and then let it dry and then do it again and it sets you up for knowing exactly how many times you've got to finish your pen and by that time for this case a letter opener at the end of the row of towels will be all done I think it came out pretty good. This is the first one for the letter opener. And we'll be pushing this together and then I'll make and turn the pen. This is why home projects are so awesome. I realized after I had finished and removed the entire turned piece from here and uh, everything was done and it's all finished and great, um, you need to part off 3 16 off of one of the ends. Luckily I have a short end and I have a long end as it's uh, related to the little grooves I made. So I'm going to part off from the long end and bring that a little closer so this will sit in the center. But I didn't know you had to part off 3 16 for a letter opener and to learn. Luckily parting off is easier than adding on so we're going to make it happen. <laughs>
Faulkner. Matching rings, matching design. Hopefully, it'll be well received. And finishing up the cherry letter opener and pen matching set, I did my best to get the lines, the, the scribe lines or the grooves matched up as well as I could on the lathe, but getting better at turning like that. So, had a good time, just finished it with CA glue or super glue so that the natural cherry wood comes through since this is going up to Michigan. We'll be sending these to Cherry Country where they produce a lot of our cherries. And so I thought it was appropriate to just leave the cherry as is, little gold and black accents on that. Standard kits, nothing crazy, but just a little lathe work for bacon bourbon build. Let's look for more of the logo pretty soon. Hoping for that, but a little piece of bacon, a little shot of bourbon today, a little four roses for that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Stay tuned for more little shots on my channel. doesn't even really need ice. It's good enough as it is. Shout out to a few of my friends here who swear by the Four Roses as their favorite. Really, really good bourbon. Try not to get any fingerprints on the new kit. Nice and clean. 